Hello, I'm David Sinden, the organist and director of music here at St. Peter's Episcopal Church in St. Louis. And on Sunday at 5 o'clock, I'll be playing music by Matthias Weckmann, German composer. Weckmann is not exactly a household name, so here are the top three things I think you should know about Weckmann's organ music. Um, number three is that uh, this music fits in very well at Vespers, hence why we're doing it at Organ Vespers this Sunday. Uh, Beckmann wrote a beautiful setting of the Magnificat for the organ, and he also wrote a setting of O Lux Beata Trinitas, an uh, evening office hymn uh, that will be sung in alternation with the organ at this service. Number two is no one wrote for the organ quite like Beckmann. There's a very interesting um, movement here in O Lux Beata Trinitas, where Beckmann very creatively doubles the uh, melody of the hymn in the right foot of the pedal and the left hand of the organ. Meanwhile, the left foot of the organ is still playing a bass line, so the editor has some suggestions about how to differentiate between these two things in the pedal, but there's a lot going on at once. And the number one thing you should know about Weckmann is that this music is cosmic. Um, there's, there's really no other word for it. I think in, in the theology of Weckmann's time, the organ was the most complex and loudest machine going. Um, so it's, it was a very apt analogy to compare the building and sound of this instrument to the ordering of creation. There's even six days of pitch represented in the six pitch levels of the organ. The 32-foot pitch, the lowest pitch of the organ, being day one, uh, the creation of, of the universe. Um, the Big Bang, the biblical Big Bang, if you will all the way up to the sixth day of creation at one foot pitch, the highest level of pitch in the organ. Um, so each, each uh, stop level that we have represented, even on this Mander organ here at St. Peter's, corresponded in some degree to uh, the creation of the universe itself. And I think especially with that hymn that we'll sing, O Lux Beata Trinitas, about the sun going down in the evening. There is a sense that all creation is giving praise, and I think that really comes through in this music. It has been a great joy for me personally to prepare this music. It's not repertoire that I knew very well before this year, and um, I, I would like to believe that I've understood a little bit about uh, Weckmann's world and this mindset. So I do hope that you will come and worship uh, the triune God this Trinity Sunday at 5 o'clock p.m. at the service of Organ Vespers.